In this video, I'm going to help you to choose the right stock brokers if you are living in Sweden. Hello everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to stop by and watch my video. In this video, I'm going to help you to choose the right stock broker if, you're, if you live in Sweden. Today, there are lots of stock brokers out there. You might have already seen ads on Facebook, Google, TikTok, YouTube or elsewhere. With so many ads online, with literally hundreds of brokers out there, to get started, it can be very frustrating. And since you're watching this video, it tells me that you want to get started, but you don't know which platform to pick. Don't worry, I will explain everything in detail further in this video. So please watch the video till the very end. The truth is, anyone can open up a brokerage account. It's so easy, but it is very important to choose one that will reflect your investment style. For instance, if you are a day trader, you want to pick a broker with a very low execution fees. Sure enough, higher trading fees could take a big bite out of your returns. But whether you are a day trader or investor, there are several factors to consider when picking your first broker. Generally, there are three main factors. First, you have to consider the cost of each trade or investment. Second, the speed of execution. And the third, the safety of the broker. Let me to break it down for you. Low fees. This is a key for investing, where bid, ask, spreads can take a big chunk out of your profit. Speed. If you are day trading, having it up to the second prices is extremely important. Any platform that has delayed pricing or too slow to process the data causes you to get into the trade late, which eventually will lead you to lose money. Safety. Always make sure your broker is fully licensed by state regulatory authorities and FINRA and most importantly, registered with the SEC. In other words, you don't want to put your saving in a fear, then they take all your money and run away. So look before you leap. After researching and testing more than a dozen Swedish and international stock brokers such as Nordnet, The Giro, IG, Avanza, Trade Zero, Interactive Broker, eToro, and etc., I finally found the best ones, which I'm currently using myself. Out of all the platforms that are out there, I have picked two stock brokers that I think are meeting all those criteria for both day trading and investing. The first one is called Nordnet. It is a Swedish brokerage firm that operates in Sweden, Norway, Denmark, and Finland. The headquarters is located in Stockholm. With Nordnet, you can both trade and invest in foreign and local stocks. With Nordnet, you can also trade stocks, ETFs, options, features in, in the Swedish market. And when it comes to the foreign, you can only buy and sell stocks. No short is available for American stocks. If you are going to invest in American stocks, then you should open a special account which is called Investing Saving Account, also known as ISCO. And another one is called Capital Insurance Account, which is known as KF Account. The reason you need to open these accounts is tax benefits. For example, if you trade in a normal account, I mean an account that it is not KF or ISCO, then at the end of the each year, you are going to be taxed about 30% on your total gain, which is a normal tax rate in Sweden. However, if you do all the process or purchases within a KF or ISCO account instead, then your tax rate is going to be a whole lot less. On top of that, you don't need to declare your taxes yourself. Rather, Nordnet will do it for you. I cannot calculate the tax rate in this video because the amount will differ based on the government loan rate and other factors. But you can always look into that by searching on Google. I need to mention that I only use Nordnet for investing and not for day trading. And if you are going to invest in foreign stocks that pays dividend, then you need to open a KF account because only through that account you can receive your yields. The downside of having a KF account is you cannot have your capital in foreign currencies. In other words, you can only have your funds in Swedish currency. And every time you buy or sell foreign stocks, you have to exchange the money from Swedish Koran to the American dollar and vice versa. When you want to sell, you have to exchange it back from the dollar to the Swedish Koran again. And that will of course lead to a higher, uh, higher investing cost. And also for exchanging the money, you don't need to do it yourself manually. Rather, the Nordnet will do it for you automatically every time you buy or sell stocks. Just remember that when you put your money in the KF account, you cannot make any withdrawal within 365 days. Your money needs to stay in that account for a year before you can make any withdrawals. The commission. The commission with Nordnet is pretty high. They have no fixed rates. The more share of a stock you buy, the higher commission you pay. Generally, there are four different commission plans that Nordnet offers. You can sign up based on volume of the stocks you purchase, and there are many, little, and fast. Remember, before opening an account, you should ask yourself, how often do you want to trade or invest? If you're going to trade very often, then the Nordnet would be expensive. As you can see, the commission is quite high. However, if you still prefer to open a Swedish brokerage account over a foreign broker, 
then I would say Nordnet is the best choice for you. The second stock broker and my absolute favorite one is Interactive Broker. They are ranked as the best stock broker for international trading. They offer low commissions, high speed executions, and a trusted platform. In fact, one of the safest platform out there. I also found their platform is very professional and overall experiences was better than most other brokers. I'm using their platform for almost mm, three years now and I have never had any problems so far. I would hi highly recommend it. You can trade stocks, ETFs, futures, forex, options, mutual funds, warrants, CFDs, and bond in local and foreign stocks. You can also open margin or cash account. They offer low margin rates in comparison to other brokers. The Intrati broker provides 4x leverage on intraday long position. Overnight leverage of 2x. The Interactive Broker doesn't enforce pattern day trading rule for Swedish or European members. And Interactive Broker account minimum is $0. You don't need so much money to start. You can deposit as little as 1000 Kron. It's a very solid platform for both day trading and investing. You can trade on your computer with the TWS platform or your mobile phone with IB apps. TWS or Trade Workstation is for more advanced experience. And if you can't be at your desk, then you can use IB Mobile app instead. IB Mobile's app it does have a lot of advanced features that I really like. Highlights include simulated trading mode, currency converter, pre-installed watch list, advanced charting tools. Those who live in Europe have to sign in Interactive Broker EU website. So remember that. The only downside with IB is that you cannot have a KF or a SCO account and you're going to be taxed 30% at the end of each year, which is in my opinion is not as bad as it sounds. You get low commissions, which helps you to save a lot of money. If you compare that to Nordnet due to their high commission charges and other fees that may involve, you will realize the cost of Nordnet actually will go higher than the clearing 30% tax in Interactive Broker. The Interactive Broker pays dividend directly to your account. Another downside with Nordnet is that you can't close a trade unless the stock market opens. There is no pre-market or after hours, but with Interactive Broker, you can always quit a trade before or after regular hours. This helps you to close a position before the market opens. For example, if you hold a position overnight and all of the sudden bad news hits the company, you, you will have the opportunity to sell all your shares before the market opens. In that case, you avoid big potential losses. But in Nordnet, you don't have that advantage. You have to actually wait till the stock market opens. That is not good because till the market opens, the prices may already tank massively. The bottom line is every broker has advantages and disadvantages. These two brokers stand out in comparison to other brokers. But at the end of the day, the choice is yours. I put a link to both the stock brokers below this video. If you would like to open an account with Interactive Brokers, use the link below to get a $200 bonus in your first deposit, which is a great boost to start your journey. All right, everyone, that was my review about choosing the stock broker. If you live in Sweden, I hope that I have answered most of your question by now. And if not, please write your question below in the comment section and I will respond as soon as possible. I wish you all the best. Have a good time.